friends it's Lisa welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos so today when I'm filming this it is Halloween Ooh, spooky and I'm wearing orange sweatshirt because I really like this sweatshirt and it's orange and it's Halloween and it's fitting <laughs> So anyway, I am here because I bought some candles yesterday from Yankee and I just want to film what I bought so that I can use them because gosh forbid I go ahead and actually use candles but I don't film them. I mean, what world is that? So anyway, I had gone to lunch with one of my good friends yesterday who I haven't seen since pre-pandemic. She was actually one of the last people that I saw before everything shut down. And we actually did a repeat of what we did back then in 2020 in that we went to go get afternoon tea and then we went to go peruse Yankee and buy unnecessary candles. You may hear my text messaging go off, so I got a new phone and it's not intuitive on how to use it. So I'm just like, I have my notes here, but I also realized like now I'm on a group text that seems like it just wanted to start. So if you hear the little sounds, that's what that is. So I received a coupon that actually expired today, October 31st, but it was buy too large, get too large. And since my friend and I were going to be going to Yankee anyway, as part of our afternoon tradition of tea and candles, I, I knew I was going to buy something. I knew it because I was like, I have this coupon and I can't not use this coupon. So I ended up buying the five candles I don't know why I couldn't do math there for a second and let me just remove this because my hair is starting to get a little bit warm <laughs> so anyway um one of the candles that I really liked when I was in store wasn't applicable for the coupon because it's a woodwick so anyway I don't know why Yankee insists on not including woodwick in their coupon game but the first candle I want to share is this Trilogy from Woodwick. This is a 21.5 ounce candle and it is the Trilogy, which means it has the three different scents. This is for, um, from their, I believe this was called the Autumn Harvest and it has apple basket, spiced blackberry and pumpkin butter. So let me see, can I mute? this because i i just want to say that i've never felt like i'm like more like an elder millennial until i got this new phone i'm not i'm not like a luddite is that the correct word but I, you know i'm not like anti-technology but this phone um it's like confused me because i'm so used to other, my other phone but anyway <laughs> Now that I'm gone on this little tangent, I want to talk about this Autumn Harvest Trilogy. So, the apple basket, they say, are crisp orchard notes of apple, pear, and peach intermingled with floral nuances. I have lilacs and jasmine. The spiced blackberry is a rich blackberry and cinnamon filling inside a flaky vanilla drizzle danish. And the pumpkin butter is a delicious blend of fresh pumpkin, warm spices, and buttery notes. And if you don't know, I mean, it's Woodwick, if you're not familiar, they do have this wood wick candle wick in the center uh, that crackles when it burns. And so it does get this like, this really beautiful ambiance that I think, especially as we're getting into the colder months, that crackling is just gonna be really nice and I'm excited for it. The downside is I feel like these create a lot more soot when it's burning just because of the wood versus the the like cotton wick. But um, I haven't burned one of these in a long time so I don't know. But I am really excited and I can't think of a better candle for November than this candle. So even though I say I'm a huge fan of Yankee and I've bought some scent plugs in the last couple months. I haven't really purchased a lot of their candles directly from them. Earlier this year, I did go ahead and buy some of the scent cups because I wanted to sample their new collection 
but I couldn't get a hand, my, my hands on all of these small jars. So I was a little bit surprised when I went in store yesterday and this particular store I went to was really emphasizing on what they're calling the signature collection. So the one wick jars, there were like only a few one wick jars and they were kind of in the back of the store. And the salesperson goes, no, 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 we're not getting rid of them. Like everyone loves our signature, like our, our jars. But they were really focusing in my particular store that I was at on what they're calling the signature collection. So they were jar candles, but with two wicks. And then there's the tumblers with the two wicks, which is what they've had. But now they're kind of moving in this new direction, similar to um, like Goose Creek or, um, I, I, you know, Goose Creek is the one that really stands out to me that has that jar that's very similar to Yankee, but it has the two wicks. So they're coming for your wigs, girls. And um, anyway, I didn't buy the jars, but I did buy some tumblers. And the reason why is because the tumblers had the print of the, the various candles circling all the way around where the signature jars just had it on the front. So, and I'm a fan of the tumblers anyway. But this first one I got uh, was the Spice Pumpkin. This is a classic scent that's been around for various seasons. Oh, it smells like fall. But anyway, uh, they say this is pumpkins baked in simmering spices of clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, and sweetened with brown sugar. It has a top note of citrus, orange, nutmeg, and spice pumpkin, midnight, mid notes of cinnamon and clove, and a base of vanilla, and some baked notes. And the other thing that was interesting is that now with their lids, they are making the lids that can also be bases which they had a line of candles out for a while that did that, but I think they're transitioning that to the main. So basically, here's the lid. It says you put the label side down. Here's the label. And then you can just put the candle on it. And then, oh my God, you have a candle that's sitting on its own stand. So, oh, it smells like fall. Um, so I got Spice Pumpkin. That was like a classic. I knew when I walked in there, I was like, I'm gonna get Spice Pumpkin, it's happening. The candle that I did not foresee that I would buy because I didn't know this uh, existed was Woodland Wood, uh, Road Trip. And this is a journey through the fall landscape with enticing jasmine, fur, velveter, and warm suede, which brings us closer as we travel together. Isn't it nice? Like, do you go on road trips with people? Do you like the people that you're on a road trip? I feel like road trips... Like if I go on a road trip, for example, with my dad, uh, cause we're, we're generally pretty, pretty close, but we go on road trips and like, that's when the conversations get real. Like our most deep real conversations happen during road trips when we're in a car and we can't escape each other. And it's like, sometimes it's not pretty, but sometimes it's like, we just really needed that time to really get to where we got in the conversation. So I love road trips. Um, and especially over the last year, that's the only type of vacation I've been taking ha has been weekend road trips. <sighs> These weekend road trips have never smelled as good as this one. Um, so this one is a journey, oh I already said that. Um, it has a top note of green mandarin and frosted jasmine and white rose, mid notes of Douglas fir, white velveteer and clary sage, and base notes of Madagascar vanilla bean, white suede and labadum, which I don't even know what that is. Mm. Yeah, it's, I mean, in simple terms, it's like a colony autumn leaf scent, but it's just really nice. I think it's, it's that like suede note that it's in here. Ugh, so nice, and I'm so excited for this candle. So now, we are in to the Christmas. I wanted to prepare. I love Christmas candles. I love anything that's tree scent. I love peppermint and candy cane. I love sugar cookie, ginger snap cookie. I, I love it all. I love Christmas scents. And unfortunately, it's one of those things where if you get this short window of time, I mean, there are no rules in candle burning. I say that a lot, except for like trimming the wick and making sure, you know, that, anyway. But um, in terms of scents, when you burn them throughout the year, there's really, it's really up to you. But I feel like Christmas, I just want it to last so much longer than it does. But 
I did go ahead and get two Christmas ask scents. So the first one I got is this magical frosted forest and I love the jar on this one. And then also, I don't, I mean, this is very, a very like niche question, but does anybody else watch Foresty Forest here on YouTube? He's a Canadian, love my Canadians secretly want to be a Canadian but anyway um he's a Canadian gentleman who lives in his van and he um out towards western Canada and he hikes a lot and he makes these amazing meals in his uh instapot so like gourmet meals in the back of his van while he's driving and then he'll just like wake up and be like I'm gonna hike this mountain today and he hikes this mountain beautiful drone footage like gets to the the summit and like comes back and then like makes this gourmet burrito or a hamburger or a Thai dish. And I'm fascinated by him. And yeah, I just, I love his videos. But anyway, when I got this, I kept saying like magical foresty forest instead of frosted forest. Basically, that was a long winded answer to get to my own like no one else will understand this. But this says it is an enchanted place where icy breezes playfully dance through tall, snow-coated pines. And there are top notes of icy eucalyptus, frozen strawberry leaf, raspberry ice, mid notes of pine needles, balsam fir, crushed pineapple, and a base notes of white cedar, tonka bean, and golden amber. <sighs> so this one is, I like this one because it gives me what I want in terms of that pine, balsam, tree scent. But those fruity notes are very unexpected and just like, it's not citrus really because the other one I'm about to show you will have some of those citrus. But like, there's a sweetness and it works. And I really enjoy it. So you get that tree but it's not just tree. There's something more. and. Um, I really appreciate that because as much as I love my tree scent, when you get those like little nuances of other notes, that's what I love. Uh, and the last one I have is Singing Carols. And so this one has on the, the label, there's some like pine decorations and oranges with clove. Do you ever see video or movies from... Uh, that are based in like um, Victorian era or um, like Edwardian and they always have like, the oranges with the cloves oh, my heart I'm like I want that I want this like Christmas tree from Victorian era which has the the oranges with the clove and strings of cranberries and candles actual candles on the tree even though that's a fire hazard that's what I want uh, but this is a harmonious combination of fruit, evergreen, and spice notes that create an ever-inspiring, ever and inspiring Christmas melody. Uh, and the top notes are mandarin and eucalyptus, mid notes are fir needle, juniper, and clove, and the base notes are blackberry, cedarwood, and pine. Mm, so it's kind of similar to the other one, but it is different. It's so good. I love, I, I'm so excited. This is my season coming up. Like we're not there officially yet. But this, we're getting into my season and I'm so excited. So anyway, those are the candles that I bought. Um, I also did buy one of their Car Jar Ultimates. This is in Sugared Cinnamon Apple. I don't have the scent notes for this, but uh, I changed my car air freshener on the first of every month and really the driver for this whole entire video was the fact that I want to put this in my car tomorrow and I felt like if I put this in the car tomorrow and then I then showed the candles it would be complete so um, this car jar is the, is the driving factor in what I'm doing today all right guys so that was my video if you liked this video or found any of the information helpful please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing uh, i would love to know in the comments if anyone watches this video what are your favorite um as we get towards the end of the year what are your favorite scents are you looking forward to like the pumpkins and the the fall scents are you looking forward to like if you celebrate christmas the trees the candy canes, the sugar cookies, like what is your scent? I, I would love
love to know what other people are into or maybe this is not your season if not like why but until next time guys i hope you all stay well bye